Right, so this question uh, involves uh, angles. Start question, so lots of work is out to show. Uh, let's have a look at the information. So we've got the arrows, parallel lines, so that should throw into our mind straight away that we're likely to be either using the alternate angle or the corresponding angles where the parallel sides are there and that. So corresponding or we could be using the allied angles add up to 180 or the co-interior angles add up to 180 so allied angles add to 180 degrees so that should um, help us we could also see by looking at the language here we've got two lines of equal length shown by the dashes so this is telling us that we're also dealing with an isosceles triangle and in isosceles triangles the base angles are also equal so those two angles will be equal so we can see from the picture that we've got that kind of information um, we've been given one angle and we want to find the x angle well this 40 degrees is the same as this 40 degrees so we can say straight away that angle A B E equals 40 degrees start question so we must give a proper reason so vertically opposite angles are equal so what else can we do well we said this was an isosceles triangle so we can find out um, the angle here and here so we can say angles E A B equals angle A E B again the reason base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal and we're also going to use the fact that angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Again, you have to be really carefully use the language. Uh, so angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So we can do 180, take away the 40, here's 140. And because the base angles are equal, then 140 divided by 2 is 70 degrees. So we now know, um, add it into the picture so we can see what we're doing as we're going along. So we've got 70 degrees, 70 degrees. Um, so we've got several things here then. We could see that if we knew this one here, then we've got angles on a straight line add up to 180. Um, if we look carefully though, we can see we've got the parallel lines. And from the three theories involving parallel lines, we can actually see a backward Z. So we actually have this picture going on where that was A, E and D. We've already shown why we've already shown why this one is 70 degrees. So from the alternate angles uh, equal theorem then we also know that that's 70 degrees and that's in position of X. So basically angle X equals 70 degrees uh, reason being alternate angles are equal. Don't just put alternate angles, you've got to say what it really means. Alternate angles are equal. So we found the angle is 70 degrees for X.